Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Emil 1951, which is currently in the store for 15,000 gold. If you get the tank with the premium, I mean with an avatar, with the garage slots, 9 equipments and legendary camo. So yeah, this is the price for it. Um, 15,000 gold for all these uh, stuff that you get with it and then the tank itself. You can get it for 12.5k i went for the 15k like for example if you don't have a lot of credits uh, to buy equipment and so on i think uh, the 12.5k i mean the 15k is a better offer because only 2.5k difference and it gives you all the equipment it gives you a premium camo i mean legendary camo and so on so 15,000 gold i think is the way to go for this tank um so yeah um it is currently in the store as you can see for 15,000 which is not really so much for a tank like this i haven't played it a lot to be honest with you but i played it for five rounds 100 percent win rate and 3.3k i like the tank until now like it made a good first impression on me and uh, it was enjoyable because it's fast it's not really slow it is fast and um, doesn't have the best of armor but it is fast it has a great gun as well so what do I use on this tank? I use speed boost, double repair kit, uh, provisions, 10% crew, 10% to speed, and 3% to crew. As for the ammo, it, lo it has loads of ammo, so it doesn't matter what you load, it's up to you. When it comes to equipment, calibrated shells like I use on all autoloaders. It is an autoloader, by the way, if you don't know. Uh, improved modules, optics, um, engine accelerator, more HP, um, enhanced gun lane drive, and vertical stabilizer toolbox and high-end consumables i think yeah this one is better because you're gonna need the repair kits as fast as you can uh speed boots isn't really gonna be something that you're gonna be using for a lot of time so uh tank stats as you can see uh it has 1.8k this is with all the equipment by the way so 1.8k um HP, I mean 1855. The main armor, as you can see, the source is 160, so it's not really good. It is gonna struggle against your 8s, against your 9s very much. Um, so, yeah, but you need to play tall down. Sometimes you're gonna bounce some shots, but most of the times you're not really gonna bounce, so you need to be careful playing this time. Size is only 35, as you can see, and the rear is 20, so the armor is really bad on the side and the rear. And uh, I think you can get a cheat in the side and the rear really easily by any tank uh, on tier 8 or tier 9, or even tier 7 sometimes. The view range is 282.5, which is really good for a heavy tank. Concealment, not gonna talk about that as usual. The DPM is 2k, so it's not really great, but as it is an autoloader, it is actually really good. The magazine reload time, as you can see, is 21.29, I mean 21.29 seconds. So it takes a bit of time to load the magazine, but the gun is really good, so it is not a big problem. Shot reload time between the shells is 3 seconds, 3 shells in the magazine. The penetration is extremely good with calibrated shells, so as you can see, AP is 241. You're mostly going to be using uh, AP to be honest with you. I don't think you will need APCR a lot, which is a big advantage, so you can make even more credits in comparison to the credits that you will spend on the APCR. APCR is 284 and the high explosive is 58, so HE is not really going to be useful much. But it's going to be useful against paper tanks. Um, average damage per shell, 310 uh, for the AP, 260 for APCR, and 400 for the HE. Aim time is 4.1, dispersion is 0 0.3. Um, and this is the gun depression, of course, as it is a hull down tank. Most Swedish, Swedish tanks are a little bit at uh, being hull down. So the elevation is 14, elevation is not really great. But the gun depression, as you can see, is 10. Combining it with that mediocre turret, it can bounce a couple of shots. Top speed is 40, reverse is 20, average speed is 30. But yeah, the tank is really nice. The movement and mobility of the tank is really nice. I like it. Uh, going backwards, going up hills and stuff like that, it is really nice. So it's like a heavy M to say. Uh, it's not really very slow as a heavy and it's not really very fast as a medium. So yeah, let's get going with the, with the games. I hope we will face uh, some tier 9s. At these games because it would be nice to face them to show how the tank is going to be um, played against your uh, tier nights. So yeah, first game. Let's see what we can see. I think I'm going to go to the medium side on this side. I can go to the left side, but I, like I said, the turret is not really great. So 
um, and as you can see the turret is a bit fat and uh, long so if I go to the left side of high peak and if they have tanks on the castle the castle guys are gonna farm me so as you can see the speed is really nice speed boost or no speed boost doesn't make a big difference but as you can see like the traverse speed is insane or heavy so mediums and light tanks will not be able to circle you uh, as easy so yeah let's go uphill and see what we can find could have played it actually in the middle and clipped them but yeah it's too late now there's the gft4 lightweight I have a heavy on C which is losing HP, but I hope he can hold for a long time until we come. So yeah, going up like on such a steep hill like this is not going to be easy with this tank. But we will get there and then I will kill the T4 lightweight and take him out of his position. Action X is dead already. And that's the Scorpion G. That's one. Second one missed. Put one of these for lightweight. Nice. Now we're gonna fall back to reload. I'm gonna angle my my turret a bit up so the armor might be might be more effective. As you can see, the backward speed is really nice. So when you wanna fall back with this tank, it's really gonna be fast. I'm going like this, maybe you can have shots on the eye later. That's one. That was too high, but maybe it was it. The third one is gonna be a miss. I'm gonna go for another reload. Then maybe we can shoot the AMX and uh, the Annihilator again when he peaks. This tank is not made for camping, but in this situation, this is my only option. Come on, come on, come on, reload. So you can see the clip reload is really long, but when you load, this is actually really good. That's one. That's two. Is he gonna make a blind shot? It seems like it. And the third one also went too high for some reason. Okay, I'll fall back now. The AMX is coming, so. And I like to just gonna shoot me soon. I'm gonna shoot the AMX when I'm loaded. Maybe with HE, because the HE damage on this tank is really nice. 400 alpha, so. It's almost a tier 10. And clipper alpha damage. That's one. That's two. Oh, this guy is special. That's three. There we go. What the hell is the 87 doing in the river? I think Defender is gonna die. I should just wait, maybe kill the Annihilator. 87 is dead, yeah. Only Annihilator is left, but I think T28 is gonna kill him. I think T28 should have him. Maybe can I have an angle on him like this? I don't think so, but yeah. T28 got him. Good. Nice first game. Very chill, like it didn't really show the armor or anything. Quite a chill game. As you can see, the credits is 81,000. So the credits making on this tank is really insane. Like I said, the penetration on AP is really good. So you're not going to be using APCR a lot. Which means you're going to be saving more money um, that you spend on shells and stuff like that. Again, against tier 7s and tier 8. Against tier 7s, this tank is just insane. Like I said, I want to play against tier 8, tier 9. So, if we don't get um, tier 9s in the first 4 games, um, I'm going to make a bonus round at the end. And uh, I'll try to get to play it against your nice. Let's go. Because uh, definitely must show this tank against your nice. Because you're not only going to be playing against your sevens and your eights where this tank is strong, but you want to show it against your nines where where the guns get bigger penetration, bigger alpha. So yeah, let's go to the middle. Try to play it all down. As you can see, like I said, the speed is really nice. So. You get to the positions really fast. Chimera's here. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Uh, time to fall back. Reload. We track the Chimera. With an autoloader, you should always be thinking about 
tracking the enemies as you can see we made him lose most of his hp chimera is definitely one of the best uh tier eights in the game so taking him out of the game is going to be really good for us Go, max roll. Good lucky there. Luck is part of the game. That was a bad shot. I was confused. I thought that the 44 was gonna shoot me. Okay, that's three. So as you can see, you can make a shot and fall back as fast as you can, so the enemies wouldn't be really able to see your turret. And this is the best thing about this tank. Now we're gonna reload and then we're gonna unclip uh, on the ice stream, which is gonna be pushing, as you can see. Fall back, I'm fast. I'm really fast falling back, so save myself some time. And now I'm gonna push on. Okay, that was a bad shot. Time to run. So, yeah, as you can see, you can get yourself out of bad situations with this tank really good because of the mobility that it has. Maybe we can help with Top 62. Need to kill that double Z, otherwise you're going to be farming us in the back. Nice. Behind the SU to reload. I'm gonna shoot him in the cupola. There we go, that's one. Two left, I three in the super pushing. As you can see, like the damage capability that this tank can make is really good. An IG. Not the cleanest of shots. Okay, that was. That was just bad. I could have had more damage, but yeah, too late now. I think they were going to be able to kill him before I reload. But if I'm going to be reloading, then it would be nice. One more extra, one extra shot would be nice. Yeah, I think I can put one more shot on him. Take PCR, and he's gone. Yeah, this tank is really nice. I liked it from the first time I played it. It is really enjoyable, it is fast, it makes, as you can see, man, again, 86,000 credits, it's insane, it's re really insane. So, yeah, play it all down, and uh, don't overextend, make sure that you're behind cover whenever you make your clip, and um, you want to reload, because 21 seconds is a, lot of, uh, is a lot of time to reload the whole clip, but when you are loaded, make sure to penetrate all your shots, and make sure to not take shots back. So yeah, 310 Alpha, and the gun is really accurate. Let's get this show on the road. Again against your seven and eight, so yeah. No tier nines until now. Where are we gonna go? I'm gonna go like this. Try to play it all down from here, although I don't like really this position because they can shoot me in the right side, maybe if they peek. But yeah, that's the BK. Oh, that was a bad shot. My aim is not really on point today. But believe me, the gun is really nice. Any TD at the back? Yeah, I mean, that was not. Uh, like, every gun would miss that shot, I think. <laughs> so yeah, I think we can push this guy on here. We're not going to be able to kill him, and that is the problem. We don't have the clip to do that. But um, this is, I think, our only option. They don't have TDs as the teams at the back, so I think this is the way to do it. Forgetto's here. Yeah, we can put a cheese maybe into the forget. Oh, that's a double that. Could be nice for my teammates to put one more into the forget, so. This is not going to be ending well. Teammates are not really doing anything. T 
teammates are just not doing anything. They're all camping at the back, doing nothing. Look at that V-man. He's hiding behind a bush, doing nothing. ICU is our only hope. Nice, he killed Emil. This guy is also camping, doing nothing. VK. Yeah, I mean, this VK can kill. H15. Maybe you have a chance to win. But with the V, depending on the FV and the Borsig, we don't really have a chance to win. To be honest with you. If I see you could put one more maybe into, into the action next, it would be nice. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a loss. I mean, not really great play for me, but I didn't really expect the double Z to be there at the back. He didn't shoot since the beginning, and that was the problem. I didn't know he was gonna be at the back there. And that double Z really has good uh, DPM, good reload. Man, dude, just shoot his lower plates. Like, literally, man. Can't he shoot anything but his lower plates? Thank you. A bit late now. This ICU is doing a really good job, to man. So they're surviving until now. He's doing great. Sir. But yeah, I mean, the other teammates just dead. He's gonna miss. You just go for it and kill him before you die, because the, the others are coming now. Look, GG. It's gone. Yeah, GG. It was kind of a bad play for me to be honest with you. I was over aggressive, but I saw the tanks on the right side. I saw TD, I saw two heavies, and I was like, okay, it should be fine to push on the left side. I mean, yeah, on the left side, but that is the problem. The reload on this clip is really long, so. And the ISU did really well. For a player like him, that is great. How much credits do we make? So, even with the loss and 900 only damage, we didn't really lose credits, so that's insane. Okay, this time we're playing against Dinar, so we don't have to do a bonus round, I think. Let's hope this round goes really well. I don't know where to go, to be honest with you. Going to the heavy side is not really going to be really effective for me because so many TDs and so many stuff. That's not going to be really nice for me. They're going to farm me. So I'll go to the outside with the mediums and see what we can do from there. The whole team is going to come into the outside, so that's really good. T54 E1 and the Chimera on the outside. That's what we should, we should meet, maybe. And let's just push through. Maybe peek from here. Oh, there we go. That's the object. My turret armor is not really good to bounce an object, I think. So. Need to be careful. Put one of the double Z, maybe finish him off. And one down. That's good. Now we're gonna reload the cameras pushing us, but we have all of our tanks here, so it would be easy to win this side. Why is he coming for me? He's alone, so as soon as we reload, we're gonna push on him. Major shot, that's good. HE, we don't have that penetration. I see you. Chimera should be dead. Come on, guys, kill him. You can see how fast the tank is. Object couldn't keep up. Well played, object. Very well played. I could have put the last shot as well in, but yeah. Let's just push through now. They have two caps, so we need to get kills or caps back. The tank is fast, as like I said, the object didn't manage to follow up, so it is great to have the speed on a heavy tank. That's the MX. He 
need to fall back against an ML2. We're not gonna be surviving. But yeah, you can see, I managed to run away, now I'm gonna be loading. Then we can push the T41 or the ML. ML is not the best player, as you can see. Okay, shot. He has the stock gun, actually. So let's go. Track. Yeah, this guy's tank is definitely not maxed out, and he has a dr dead driver, so I don't know if we can put one more shot on him, I don't think so. No, we can actually we can get the kill. Four kills, maybe an ace. Goes round, overall. See how many credits we get. 100? <laughs> Almost 100,000 credits, man. It's insane. It is literally insane. As you can see, like, I didn't even need to use uh, APCR, so it's just it's just good. 3.7k, almost 3.8k, and almost an ace. 100k credits, 4 kills. It is just insane. This tank, I love it, to be honest with you. It's unfortunate that I don't like to play tier 8, but if I was to play tier 8, this tank is definitely the one I would go for, for heavies and for making credits, so... Uh, to sum this up, guys, is it worth it, this tank? I think it is worth it. To be honest with you, it is very enjoyable, like you say, like you said, it's so on the games. It's fast, it's mobile, it's not really slow, it's enjoyable to play, it has a clip, so... And a good gun as well, it doesn't really miss much, it has great penetration, so you're gonna save on credits by using AP, not APCR. And yeah, the credits at the end is just insane, insane, insane. So yeah, is this tank worth the 15,000 gold? In my opinion, it is. Definitely, if you want to think about buying a tank that is an autoloader, that is enjoyable to play, that makes a lot of credits, this tank is the way to go. It is enjoyable, and I enjoyed playing this tank. So yeah, hope guys, I helped you uh, make your decision. In this review, there are only six days left for the offer, by the way. So if you want to get it, you should get it now. Um, yeah, it is a great tank and it is worth it for me for the 15,000 gold. So yeah, thank you all guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope, like I said, I helped you making the decision to buy this tank. So yeah, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the review. Have a great day and see you on the next one. Goodbye.